to today's report and explanation on how to read and use the HR diagram. How to read the HR diagram is really easy. I will explain to you how to read the X and Y axis and I will explain to you all about the colors they use on the top of the chart and what they stand for. Sit tight and keep your ears open. I will have a questionnaire at the end to test your new knowledge on the HR diagram. Okay, this is an example of the Hertzsprung Russell diagram or HR diagram. The chart compares star's brightness or luminosity versus their temperature and their distance. Their distance is based on their color, and they use the Doppler effect to measure their, how far it is by red and blue shifts. The brighter slash hotter it is, the color would be approximately bright blue to white. And if it isn't so bright and hot, it would be between yellow to reddish orange to red color. So basically the colors range from bright blue, white, yellow, red, orange-ish, and red. Now let's explore the X and Y axis of this chart. The Y axis is absolute luminosity. It goes from lowest brightness to highest brightness of the star. The X axis goes from highest to lowest surface temperature. Stars can range from 50,000 to 3,000 degrees Celsius. Question 1. What does the y-axis tell you on the HR diagram? A. Brightness B. Luminosity C. Heat D. A and B Please pause the video now or I will announce the answer. Answer is D. Brightness and or luminosity. Question 2. Where would a star with a temperature of 3100 degrees Celsius and a very dim brightness be? A. B. Or C. Please pause now or I will announce the answer. Answer is C. I hope now you have a better understanding on the HR diagram. Thanks for watching. Comment and or subscribe onto my YouTube videos. Thanks.